Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Episode 6, Departure. New York City, two years ago. I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Pick up sunglasses. Ah, uh, Alan. Oh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Oh, Alan, man, what are you doing? The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Huh. Are those supposed to be like gold Max Payne pistols? Like a trophy? Interesting. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. Okay. Huh. Man, I wanted to see what else you could actually see in here. I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. Let's look. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Hmm. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. You know, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No. Nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. 
employee has certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for a Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. That was the... I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Holy crap, and that was two years ago he said that. Gosh. Bright Falls, the present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. It's true. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Wait a second. Before I leave. Before I leave. Alright, so it sounds like we're at the end. Is there something to read here? Oh! I don't think I got everything anyway, but... I think there's that trophy for Bright Hills. Like, looking at all the signs and stuff. Ooh, how is a little clicker going to help me? Uh, 
Oh, look at that. The Majestic Hotel. Isn't that where Agent Nightingale was? Let's grab... Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not crazy, am I? I swear I saw a thermos right here. No way. Ah! Well, I didn't get all those either, so... That'd be kind of cool if it... If, um... That, like, increased your stamina or something. You know, like, the, they have the big torch. Is that what they call it? They call it the torch. Flashlight. Heavy-duty flashlight and torch. They should let me just keep it. Oh, you know there's gotta be something in here, right? No, not at all? Let's just really quick see if we can get in here. No? Darkness. That's kind of messed. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Always would be. I will kill your wife. Oh, they didn't get rid of it. Nice. Departure was the name of his last book, and it's the name of this chapter in the story. Maybe at the end, after the main story, we should, um, see how many pages I'm missing, huh? Alright, man, we gotta get to Cauldron Lake. Being touched by the darkness, huh? I feel like I remember doing this before. But there's some. You go up to the motel. So, this is the motel that Nightingale stays, stays at, right? Agent Nightingale? Let's check it out really quick. Honestly, if this is going to be the final fight, we don't have a lot of supplies. You know? What's this? The Majestic Hotel. So majestic. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Um, I mean, the hunting rifle has the most power, right? Room number two.
This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Dude, I'd upgrade that to a little bit more. I mean, he shot at you. Oh! Darn. I was hoping for more. Hmm. Should I take the vehicle that I can jump? Or should I take the vehicle on the other side? Oh, you know what we gotta do. Ugh, I shouldn't have done that to this new Tesla V. Ugh! Holy crap! Oh, we gotta go. Oh, cause this doesn't look like a... Ooh, okay. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so I did get to keep the torch. Huh? Ow! Ow! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Holy... This place is starting to get a little dangerous. Holy... Holy! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Holy moly! Fight past poltergeists. Yeah, no kidding. Holy crap. No. All right. Woo! Feel like there is one somewhere on that bridge. Wow, that is pure insanity.
How about you, buddy boy? Come on. I gotta admit, I'm running low, but I'm starting to think I'm not supposed to fight everybody. Come on, Alan. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm gonna take it to that barn. Please tell me there's some supplies here. Maybe up the stairs? Maybe? Nothing over there. No. No, no. I picked up a flare? Come on, man. I have to switch to this hunting rifle. Okay. Let's keep going. Holy crap! Oh my god, it's a Korean bus! I won't lie to you. The driving might be a tad floaty. Might be. Easy does it. Oh boy. <clears throat> Another tunnel. to those too. Hmm. All right. Of course. What?
Okay. All right. I'm trying to get to Cauldron Lake, man. Holy. Holy. Wait a second now. Wait, 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 wait a second now. Is that just... Okay. That looked like there was a plage up there. What's up here? So is it him? Is it him breathing? What is that? What if they started tricking you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if they started being like, oh yeah, there's something back here. I don't think I wanted to fire that off yet. Are you supposed to be able to get up to there? Can can you get up to there? <gasps> hmm. You have to be able to get up there, right? There's no way. Look at that. There's got to be a way up there. There is. Just not jumping the way I was jumping. Ah, 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 ah. Actually, you know what? Let's reload this bad boy. There we go. Nothing else? Why does that sound like that's not... There's only my footsteps. I think I'm focusing too much on these manuscript pages. Ah! Oh no. What is this gonna be? Okay. Must be something up there I need to do. Something back here? Uh, 
Oh man, Alan. Well... Oh god, this is just gonna be a recipe for disaster. Oh my god! Why did I do that? Have another flare, man. Ugh. Oh. Okay. There's this guy. No, officer, this is not totaled. I'm trying to dare me to get to Cauldron Lake at this point? Holy moly. I dare you to get there. This place is so nice, just having stuff waiting for me, ready to go. Dude, the driving. Oh man, if they do driving in the second one, please, please do it better. Camera, man. Sometimes I'm fighting the camera. Oh boy. This looks like a good old standoff type of place, when huh? I told Barry my plan back in the well lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. We we kind of owe it to her, Alan. I'm telling you, man, what happens when whoever's you know? Cause the idea would be that Cynthia Weaver is writing this, right? Like, what's gonna happen when these guys? Like, the darkness finally realizes it and, like, writes some of our own. Writes some of their own. You know? <sighs> Yippee!
Let's look really quick. I will never give her to you. That's what I thought, Chainsaw Boy. Have to admit, Alan, we might need to s we might need to switch to our pistol for a bit, buddy. We might need those we might need those shots. Is this an old western? Some like Custer Last Stand type stuff? I dig it. Anything in here? Where's the manuscript page, man? I don't think so, Chico. Ugh. Ah, uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, seriously? Take that! Man, this is a gauntlet. This is a gauntlet. Wait, so I did that. There's a manuscript page. Why did I push that over the edge? No, I don't remember. Do I have to do that to get over here? Maybe? Probably. Oof. Sorry, Buster Brown. 
I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Dude. I gotta fight through all that still? So one of the reasons why I didn't immediately record the end of the game is because I kind of wanted to get into the DLC while after I play this. Because if I remember right, the DLC is hard. Like, it assumes that you've been playing the game for, you know... So I thought it might be easier if I... play this and then play like some of the DLC after. Might make easier for what we're doing, huh? Trying to get ready for Alan Wake 2 coming out soon. Can't wait to see what that's going to be about. Oh, you... Yeah, you thought you were clever. Huh? that wait why am I climbing up here what's up here did I ever go up here I don't remember to be honest take that birds stick with it for now how many caches did I miss I would really like to know thank goodness for these caches though you'd be in big trouble Alan Rats with wings, get back here! So I thought. Go be crying to your mama. Take that. Thank God for this thing, man. This... Holy... Ah! Take that! Woo! 
Poo Doggy. I remember when I originally played this game. I do, I do remember this. I was I was like I'm gonna get everything. What I what I mean by that is like I was gonna all the slime that's on the ground. I stop and get rid of it all. Get rid of it all. Alright. Ah, uh, onward, huh? Holy. Ooh. Back up, it's back up. Well, heck yeah, I get him stuck in the corner. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we go, get him stuck in the corner. Let's get around this. Ah! Come on, big guy. Let's go down. There we go. Let's get it going, Alan. is this wreckage from? Keep an eye on this one. Shifty little bugger. You ever get that feeling like something just don't love you? Alright, well, thanks for proving my point, man.
All right, come here. Come on. Alright, who wants to play more games, huh? I mean, we're, we're playing a game. You, you know what I mean. See ya, Cheese Whiz. Are we taking on another piece of equipment? Holy crap! Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Come on. Woo-wee! This is fine. This is good. This is fine. This is good. Hoo. Hoo. So you don't want me to write... <clears throat> you don't want me to write the end of the story. Make up your mind. Holy... I get the sense... Correct me if I'm wrong... <laughs> It seems like you're mad at me. Seems like you're mad at me. Yeah. Oh, let me drink the moonshine. Motor oil, whatever. I suppose it does matter. The darkness wears her face. Wait. Over there. Perfect. A lot of big guys that can bring at me. A lot, a lot of. Go. 
I'm... Holy... Holy... We can get out of here, huh? Just, just making sure. Nothing. All right. Let's not go near that. All right. Ugh. So Thomas Zane took the pages and is spreading them. Now. Leave my presence! Okay. Do as you're told. Hey now. Excuse me? That attitude? to tell you I was a jerk for years she went to Sade she didn't love me holy oh, oh my god into its heart to hurt it. You will fail. It's all you need. You're making this up.
Alright, Alan. Where's the clicker, baby? You ready? Just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan? You're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? Mm-hmm. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back Ow. to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come, Come back, back to, to bed, bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. Close on the word. Is that Thomas Zane? You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Okay. Whoa. Don't mind him. He's Mr. Scott. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Holy. Use the clicker. Don't mind him, he's Mr. Scratch. Who is it? I followed the idea of a path. I've written myself across the ocean. It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. Don't 
Diver's Isle. You're not my Barbara. Tom, you go. I promise to be good. Please, I'm tiny, you naughty boy. I will help you at your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. Your heart is filled with darkness, Thomas. Whoa. That's some dark stuff, man. Darkness. I will the cabin to be real. Okay. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to do. Let's finish this darkness. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Ooh. Give her a bro hug and fill her with light, huh? Brutal. Here you go, Alan. What now? I hate to say it, man, but you kind of still look like you're in the darkness. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. So that's back to oh, that. No. <gasps> okay, so, so okay, so this is showing the time that um, passed or lapsed. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Alice. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, 
that was the balance in the scale, wasn't it? He stayed in the darkness and she got free. Thomas Sane tried to have it all, but Alan knew that he couldn't. So he's been stuck. She, so she cr crawled out of the water after a week. Holy moly. God, look at that. Nightingale's in the darkness. I mean, the darkness did get him. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Alan, wake up. Interesting. So, I never noticed that before. So it's almost like... So it's almost like, uh... Rose. Rose was the girl from the diner. So it's almost like Rose. Um, now is the new Lady of the Light? She's holding a lantern. Nightingale's in the darkness. Interesting. Well, that is a hell of an ending, right? It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Because don't they say Cauldron Lake is super deep? Maybe it digs deep down to where there's something dark down there, huh? Interesting. All right, everybody, have a good night. Catch you on the next one. We have now the DLC episodes of The Signal and The Writer. We'll catch you next time.